So Justice and I are taking a nice little walk here. I'm trying to get him to be tired because he just won't go to sleep. And I got so much work to do. I really just want him to go to sleep, you know. I need to do my hair. I haven't done my hair. It's just back in a ponytail. It is, it is a trip. Um, I wanted to talk about, right quick, this trust fund that I started. I remember doing live streams on my Raising Justice channel, and uh, people were telling me that uh, if I filed for child support, that I could use the money that I was getting from Priest to put into a trust fund for Justice's education. And so... I was thinking to myself, you know, there's so many children out there who don't have money for education, especially children who are in the foster care system. And so it made me decide to create um, Happiness Seeds, which is a company that builds trust funds for children to do whatever, okay? Um, and it's like irrevocable trust to where... Um, they have to meet a certain uh, requirement in order to receive the money. They have to be a certain age. They have to do a certain thing. Like, for example, they have to get a specific GPA in a school. Or they have to, uh, I don't know, at least be 16. Or they have to, you know, certain things like that. Just certain requirements. And uh, I just started it, so it's not like something that is... Uh, completely formed yet and so I've been asking for donations for that and a lot of people have been saying well if you have money why do you ask for donations that's dumb more money <laughs> like are you kidding me it takes more than my little multiple sources of income to be able to take care of a village I don't just take care of myself my daughter my mother I take care of thousands of people so just how you know when I was in an extended stay hotel and people were sending me donations while I was pregnant and sick. I have a friend right now who's in an extended stay hotel right now and she has three children and her man is there and she asks me for money just for food sometimes. She'll just ask me for $20 for food and the reason why I went ahead and gave it to her is because I was in a position where I needed someone to do that very thing for me. So now that I'm in a position to where I can start up a trust fund for my son, I just want to also start up trust funds for other children who may not have parents or may not be uh, in high-income homes or, you know, it could be anything. So that's why I ask for uh, donations, and I don't care if I become a billionaire, you know. I'll still ask for donations. It will never be... You know, because I have X amount of dollars, I'm not going to ask for donations. Um, any nonprofit I have, I will ask for others to help me with it. So, <laughs> I don't know why people would ask me such a thing. But, I just wanted to clear that up, just in case anybody, you know, wanted to know more information about it. And plus, it's like a tax write-off, you know? Do, do people know that? Like, do people understand that when you donate money... It's a tax write-off. So all you got to do is like ask me for a receipt. Like if you want proof that you donated some money to like my organization or something like that, all you got to do is ask me and it's a tax write-off for you. So, you know, what I'm doing is like legitimate. Um, it is for my son, of course, and it's for other children as well. It's just something that I started, something cool. You don't have to donate. It's not a requirement. You know, it's just something that, you know, you want to do your good deed for the day. You understand what I'm saying? So, if you have any more questions about that, you let me know, okay? You let me know, and I'm all in the street, almost got hit by a vehicle. If you have some more uh, things that you want to say about this, and you have any more questions, you can email me definitely, okay? Have vision and stay focused. Namaste.